Neon Boots is, uh, first of all, a historic place. It is an everybody bar. We, uh, we don't discriminate against anyone. We don't care if you like to eat popcorn standing on your head or you have purple hair. It doesn't matter to us. As long as you're 21 years old and you don't cause any trouble and you're here to have fun, this is a place to enjoy and to come in and have an exciting uh, adventure while you're here and relax and just enjoy yourself. Do a little dancing, ride the bull if it's here, uh, listen to the bands when we have them, and do sing some karaoke, enjoy the back patio, uh, have a great cocktail. That's, that's what we're all about. Have a dance lesson. Come in and learn how to dance. A lot of people say, well, I can't dance. I've got two right feet, and I always tell them, well, that's great because we have people here that have two left feet. They're looking for you, so thanks for coming, you know. <laughs> The Esquire Ballroom was established in 1955 by a guy named Ray Prosky, and he owned it for about 40 years until 1995 when he sold it. In 2013, uh, myself and three partners bought the place and came in and started renovating it. Built it out, uh, added all the stuff that's in here, and then COVID hit us in 2019, uh, and then shortly after that, I bought the partners out, so now I'm the owner. For 35 years, I wanted my own bar, and so finally it's a dream come true for me. The only thing original here is the dance floor, which was huge. It comes all the way out to the end of this bullpen. The stage is the original stage and the dressing room, the green room. Willie Nelson actually used to sleep in the parking lot out here. He was trying to sell his songs for $10. And then Patsy Cline started here. The play Always Patsy Cline happened right here on our stage. Willie actually wrote the song Crazy for Patsy Cline when they were both uh, singing here. We have a wall of fame over here that has a bunch of names on it. You can see that while you're here. And I know you'll recognize some people on there. A lot of the old timers got started here. Uh, it's just an amazing historic place. Loretta Lynn actually was a waitress here before she started singing on our stage. Charlie Pride, he was one of the first black men to ever sing live in Texas, and that happened right here on this stage. It was because of a gentleman named Farron Young. He came to sing as the lead act, and Charlie Pride was supposed to be his startup act. So when he got here in the early 50s, they told him you couldn't sing here, it was a black man. And, and then Farron Young said, if he doesn't sing, I don't sing. Charlie Pride got to sing, so that's how that got started. And then we have the Elvis Presley phone booth that Elvis fired his manager from. Uh, and that came to us from Ray Posky's daughters after he passed away. We have uh, dance lessons every Tuesday night. They're taught by four-time world champions, uh, Mario and Stephanie Robaugh and John Lindo. They're known around the world, and we're very fortunate to have them to teach classes on Tuesday nights. We always have a free beginner class from 6.45 to 7, and then 7 to 7.30 we do kind of an intermediate class. Every month we do what we call Flavor of the Month. One month we do Country Two-Step, another month we'll do West Coast Swing. And once class time is over, we offer a dance for folks to join and uh, we do a little bit of a mixture. So it gets you a chance to practice some country, followed by a little bit of West Coast, and that way you can come every single month to practice whether you, you actually come for class or not. We always say as long as no one gets hurt, and everyone has fun, it's a success. The dance floor is amazing, it's huge for one thing. You can see a pair of disco boots hanging up there. Uh, that is the first pair of country boots I ever owned. I wore them completely out, you can see my socks through the sides of them. My passion is dancing, so my boots will always be on the dance floor whether I'm here or not. People love coming here, first of all, because we are very accepting of everyone. We are a fun place to be. You can come in here and forget your cares, leave them out in the parking lot. We get a lot of people from international. I mean, we get people from the UK, Germany, France, Belgium, you name it, from everywhere. And I ask them when they come in, how did you find us? Well, we saw it on Google and it looked like it was Texas. So we wanted to get a part of the Texas culture and experience while we're here. Well, we've had several bands that have cut their, their albums releases here, things like that. A lot of stars have started here. And we're gonna continue that. That's what I'm hoping to do, is to keep live bands alive and keep this place as a historic landmark. There's just so much history, and everywhere I go, people see my shirt, they tell me another story about something that happened to them or their parents here. Um, my parents and my grandparents, they used to dance here every weekend. I would get left at the babysitter. 
and they would come up here to dance. The future for Neon Boots, I'm hoping to, this will become a historic landmark. It needs to be. We are all about live music, we're all about country, and we're something for everybody.